So that's the front panel cut. And that's the lining for this fabric. <clears throat> and then I had this fabric left over. And I still got to create the boot curtain. So I'm thinking I might do something with this. I've now found some of this fabric. I really love this one. Uh, so I've got 10 inch squares of that. I thought, shall I make a patchwork panel for the boot curtain? With all the scrap material that I have left. Hmm. I've got two methods of hanging them up. Either hooking one of those curtain hooks onto there, putting the washer through and into the wire, or I've got these, which are again hooks. I don't need a heading tape at the back of the curtain. I just clip that on and feed the wire through the top end. Hmm. I threaded on the hooks through that hole. Quite easy to do, isn't it? I think this is working quite well. <clears throat> I can draw it and it's a nice glide. And then draw it back. And then when I'm done, if I'm driving, I can either just tie it back, but I can just unhook them from the top over here, like so. When I'm done with my camping, fold it away and put it in the cuddy hole. It's working perfectly. A set of curtains put up. I, I thought I'll go like, um, you know, a bit different. So that's the ones. Oh, I burnt it there. Shit, that was even with greaseproof paper. Um, but this system of using these hooks over here is so great because you can just unclip it and move the pleat along or whatever, whichever way. So there's a lot more adjustments with that. And I've always got a spare set. So all I need to do is now tighten the wire and cut it. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty pleased with it so far. And when you come to a junction like this, which often happens when you're doing like DIY curtain railing, um, I've got a big gap, haven't I? But with this system, I can just unhook that curtain from there push it along, join it to that one and peg that over so it makes a seamless, seamless thing. Okay, I've hung them all. So that one there, the one that I made from all the scrap material and from the leftover appliques and whatnot. And then I got the actual sari, the heavy embroidered bit. So I use that as a top and it's uh, the embroidery is coming down like you know, like like flowers hanging down, you know? And then I've got the pink one on this side. And then on the back, I've got another veil one. Oh, I'm rather happy with this. It's draping quite well. Well, you know, it's a bit long, but I had to do what I had to do. And it goes across neatly. I can't see any daylight. Just got to tighten these up and hopefully it'll go up a little bit more. Whoa! curtains are on I can tighten the wire up even more and then just cut the excess off and when I get up in the morning I want to draw the curtains it's easy I just have to do that obviously those I have to unclip but that's the only ones and the rest of them I can draw them undraw them draw them and undraw them <laughs> 